Okay, welcome back. So we're on to P10, which is electricity and circuits. So let's remind ourselves of the contents of this table. So electrons are roughly, remember I've said before, 1700 to 2000 times smaller than a proton or a neutron. Okay, their relative charge is minus one. Protons charge is plus one. Neutrons are neutral. They've got a charge of zero. Neutrons and protons are found in the nucleus. Uh, electrons are in the outer shells of the electrons, okay? Of, of the atom, sorry. So, when I uh, talk about this topic uh, with students, I say, essentially, kind of like when you're learning a language, with electricity, you've got to learn these circuit symbols, okay? They're sort of um, the international language for scientists to communicate around the world. So that means a Chinese scientist can communicate with a Russian scientist, which then can communicate with an, a scientist from India, okay? Uh, and so on. And, and they use these symbols. So the first one I'm going to look at is a cell, okay? That's what it looks like. Um, essentially provides the electrons with the energy to move around the circuit, so we're going to be looking at that uh, in more detail in a second. A battery is made up of more than one cell, okay? I've got a switch that looks like this. A voltmeter, okay, measures the voltage. An ammeter measures the current. Um, we're going to look at what those terms mean in a second. That's what a resistor looks like, okay? It essentially opposes the current, okay? It has a fixed value as well, if it's a fixed resistor. We also have what we call a variable resistor, which is this diagonal arrow uh, just going through it. Um, and obviously its resistance can change accordingly. Okay, so with a thermistor, its resistance is actually gonna decrease when the temperature increases. We're gonna look at this uh, later on, um, but that's something for you to be aware of. So its resistance is dependent on the external temperature. Same thing with a light dependent resistance, uh, light dependent resistor, sorry, or an LDR its resistance also changes. So its resistance actually decreases when the light level increases. Okay, so we'll, we'll look at um, graphs for the thermistor and the LDR later on in this lesson. Right, so this symbol here is a bulb. Okay, so essentially uh, the electrical energy from the electrons gets converted into light energy in a bulb. A diode uh, looks like this. It only allows electrons or current to flow in one direction. A light emitting diode or an LED is essentially a diode that when current passes through it, light is given off. And finally, a motor. Okay, so you've got kinetic energy or movement when electrons or current pass through it. So what's the difference between a series and a parallel um, uh, circuit? Well, uh, in the same way uh, that you've got a TV, TV series with loads and loads of epi episodes, okay, in one season, you can imagine uh, a series circuit in a similar fashion, okay? So your electrical components here would essentially be connected up in series, one after the other, with the exception, of course, of a voltmeter, and we'll explain why that is the case um, later on, okay? But in a series circuit, in a series circuit, electrical components are arranged uh, one after the other in one specific loop. In a parallel circuit, okay, they are there, there are multiple loops. So if I show you here you go, here's an example of a parallel circuit, and here is a series circuit. Okay, so what is voltage, or potential difference? If we look at this uh, a voltmeter here, it's connected uh, at two points before uh, the, the, um, the light bulb and after the, the light bulb, okay? Voltage is essentially energy per unit charge, okay? So a certain amount of charge, okay, is gonna be carrying a certain amount of chemical energy from the cell or the battery. Now, as the electrons, okay, now, first of all, let me, um, before I go on, I'm going to talk about what we call conventional current. Okay, so first of all, we've got this long line here and this short line here of the cell. Conventional current goes from the positive end, which is this long, long end of the battery, okay, positive end towards the negative end. That is conventional current. It has been there for historical reasons, scientists originally thought the charges in a circuit were positive charges, uh, but uh, later on, and, and they therefore they defined it was going from a positive, uh, the positive end of the battery to the negative end. However, later on, we found out that electrons were actually negative, so they actually go the opposite direction, okay? So I'm gonna use conventional current, okay, to explain the, the concept of voltage. So conventional current, or the charge carriers, are gonna carry some um, chemical energy, okay, 
They're going to go around the circuit, being attracted to the opposite, opposite end of the terminal. Okay, when they pass through the light bulb, some of that voltage, okay, which is the energy on the top here, is going to be converted into light energy. So the voltage actually after the electrons has passed, or that charge carrier has passed through the lamp or bulb, uh, will will uh, will have obviously gone, uh, and therefore the electron will still continue to be attracted towards the other terminal of the battery by uh, electros by the electrostatic pull. Okay. Now, obviously, I've talked it talked about voltage in in the sense of positive charge carriers, but actually, in reality, it's actually electrons that go the opposite way. Okay. But the same principle occurs. They're going to carry the chemical energy from the cell. Okay pass it onto the battery, that energy, electrical energy, gets converted into light and a bit of thermal, the electron continues to be attracted to the positive end of the terminal. Okay. So there's this equation here which you need uh, to know uh, in your exams, you need to be also, you also need to be able to uh, rearrange it correctly. Okay. A couple of things I'm going to mention, the units for charge are the coulombs, okay, abbreviated here as C, Okay, energy is obviously joules, uh, and potential difference of voltage is in volts, capital V. Let's define what current is. Okay, so current is the rate of flow of charge. Okay, uh, in metals, this is the flow of electrons, and current is measured in amperes or amps. Um, capital letter A uh, is the unit for it. Okay, so Q or the charge is equal to I times T, or I is equal to Q divided by T. Okay, again, charge units is coulombs, current uh, is amps, and time the units are seconds. Okay, so again, make sure you're able to, to, to rem remember this for your exam and also rearrange it uh, depending on the values they give you in the question. Okay, so the connection between voltage and current is that as voltage causes a current, if you increase the voltage, the current will increase. If you decrease the voltage, the current will decrease. If you reverse the voltage, the current will also reverse. Okay, so again, just, just bear in mind um, that voltage is essentially that driving force that pushes the electrons around um, uh, the circuit as well. Okay, right, we're going to talk about some principles of current. Okay, so current, the total current passing a going into a junction has to equal the total current going out of that junction. So uh, let's say there's two amps going from this terminal, okay, uh, right the way around, it's going to be two amps um, uh, around the entire circuit, okay, whereas if we look at this parallel circuit here, um, if we've got three amps coming from this positive end, okay, and these resistors are equally, uh, sorry, are all equal, you're going to get one amp passing through there, one amp passing through there, one amp passing through there, and they will all join back together to make three amps again. Okay, so that's this principle explained. Okay, so the total current going into a junction is equal to the total current going out of that junction. Okay, so now let's look at the connection between resistance and current. So if you decrease the resistance, then the current will increase. And if you increase the resistance, then the current will also decrease. Okay, so they're essentially inversely proportional to one another, and they're linked via this equation here. Okay, if voltage remains the same, okay, if current's going to go up, resistance has got to go down, and vice versa. Okay, which means voltage is essentially the product of the current times the resistance. Okay, um. This point here, I mean, you can control the resistance of a circuit using resistors. Okay, so we can do that multiple ways. We can use a variable resistor, as um, which was this symbol here. Okay, there's the variable resistor. Or um, we essentially can just add additional resistances. Okay, individual resistors. So obviously these three three resistors uh, um, are going to cause the current to be reduced in this circuit because there's more of them, okay, um, and that's one way we can we can increase the resistance of a circuit. Okay, so important thing to note down the units for resistance is this weird symbol here. Okay, we call that a ohm. Okay, so resistance is measured in ohms and that's its unit. Okay, voltage is a volt, current is amps.